Hello everyone, this is Trey Appling One, and I'm back today. Um, yesterday, it was a trying day to say the least. I mean, I tried and tried and tried to make a video, but every single one of them came out past 10 minutes, and I can't quite figure that out because when I remember being in high school, junior high, and having to do oral reports, and they had to be like three minutes long, that I could never come up with enough material for three minutes. And so it's amazing that I could sit here and over and over and over again talk over ten minutes. And I was I'm talking about my symptoms of lupus, and I and I, every, I was trying to push everything in one video yesterday, but I think I'll just do one at a time and just have each video for a few minutes make it easier easier on me and less stressful and also like I'd look at the video and my hair would be horrible or my oxygen oxygen tube was all cockeyed or my son would walk into the room and start talking or my dog would start barking um, just everything <laughs> and I mean I made at least five of those videos and I got so tired of talking about lupus I mean, I fell asleep like a baby last night. Um, my last video, I talked about the malar and the butterfly rash. Um, this one, I'm going to continue kind of down those same street. I'm going to talk about the swelling um, I have. It's called Cushingoid Syndrome or Moon Face. And it's not caused by the lupus. It's caused by the prednisone to treat the lupus. Um, prednisone is your worst best friend um, just the side effects of it are horrible and so if your doctor recommends that you start taking prednisone which they probably will if you've been diagnosed with lupus you really need to research it because and understand what it's going to do to your body um, um, so you know and you can make the best decision for yourself um, Back in September, um, I was given massive doses of prednisone, and so this swelling, this episode of cushionoid is from that, and it has not gone down yet. Um, it's not from my daily medication of prednisone, it was from the massive dosing. Um, I had pneumonia and pulmonary failure, and I'll talk about that later on. Um, but, so, I'm waiting for this to start going down. And um, I've had, you know, high doses before, so this isn't anything new to me. Um, other than this, it's taken this one quite a long time to go down. Um, I don't know, you know, my daily medication, I'm down to 10 milligrams a day. And so that's like a, it, the, it should start going down now because I've worked my way down um, from 60 down to 10. Um, Um, I, being this swollen, it's not comfortable. Um, you know, it inhibits you more. Uh, it doesn't help with a disability any. Um, you know, it's harder to get around, harder to breathe. You know, harder just to manage your day-to-day -day activities. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the swelling going down. Um, I gained 50 pounds. And... This was not from sitting and eating. Um, I've learned from the past that, you know, you have to control your appetite uh, when you take high doses of steroids because the weight gain is going to come whether you're eating for 50 people or not. <laughs> and so I've, I've watched my, um, my food intake and my husband also, you know, watched my portion sizes because, um, you know, he prepares my meals and my plates because I'm not um, capable yet um, to do that. Um, you know, here at home I'm in a walker or in I get about in a wheelchair, and I don't have the strength, you know, to lift to lift a plate and stuff. I drop, you know, drop it and break it. Um, so, you know, I did watch my food intake, watched my appetite. Every once in a while, I'd say, okay, you know, I'm going to get into my appetite today. 
and eat what I want and but you know the next day I go back to normal portions and stuff so I'm ready to get this cushionoid stuff gone gone and over gone make it history <laughs> and so I'm down to 10 milligrams and so we'll my I'm still gonna there my goal is to be at zero and the Mayo Clinic um, I went to them and they said that it is possible um, because my testing had come out that you know my um, adrenal glands were not working at all but um, they gave us a few tricks um, of how to adjust the medication and you know to make my adrenal glands start up again so you know we're working on that but it's one milligram at a time um, if anybody wants to know more about that message me or whatever so we can um, talk about it you know I'll be more than happy to talk about it also I'd like to say I got my first um, subscriber I'm happy about that so uh, let me see what I can't remember the name I'm sorry Duners to you you're my very first subscriber so thank you very much um, I appreciate that it's exciting um, and I've had like I think like 30 views on both of my videos so far so yay uh, keep it up um, I'm gonna call it good for now and I'll make more videos you know concerning each symptom one at a time because other than that I wore myself out and anybody that has lupus knows what I'm talking about so I will chat with you later Bye-bye.